Hey guys, I'm back. How are you? Oh, I have missed you. Big time, like big time. I have missed you. Say hey when you're jumping on. My tag. Uh, one thing. Terry! Thank you. I really missed you guys. I thought of you every day. I missed you. Did I say that you were away again, Terry? Like, again? Right, I'm trying to do this so I can talk. Ooh, I almost put this in the other group. Let me make sure I'm in the right group myself. I have you. Oh! Well, wait, like, are you, have you gone back to rehearse? Like, like, you're all coming together to rehearse? That would be pretty awesome. There it again. Hey Deb, how are you? Hey Deb. Oh god, I could have you? really well with that. I wonder why that was on. Alright, let me do one thing. I, guys, I'm forgetting how to work everything. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hi, Stacy. how are you? Guys, I could just like sit and chat all night. Oh, hey, Kim. You know what, Marilyn? It was, um, I didn't realize how needed the vacation was until I actually got there. So, um, you know, everybody's had a tough year. Everybody has had a tough year. Um, some more than others. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and you know, I thought the two weeks were gonna go by, like, really, really fast, and, um, they went by at the right kind of speed. Like, it, it was just awesome. It was awesome. My family came and went, came and went, came and went. Um, so that was good too. But, um, and they all got to be there. So it was fun and um, We were hoping to get back and find out good news about the house being built, and no, there are no updates. So I may just go back to the beach and live at the beach. But So, guys, I don't know if you saw, and I don't know if I, oh, it's right here. So today, we did our pillar stand project. We were a couple days late. Um... So if you didn't get to see the picture, this was the finished project. First of all, perfect timing, right? And uh, what a great transfer just to have for fall. And if you're going anywhere, you can whip one of these up on a board and base or another pillar stand. I'm really happy with the way that this came out. Of course, I love the, I don't know why I sound like I'm singing. I need my regular thing back too. Love the embellishments. That coffee cup, guys, it really, it took on a life of its own and I love it. Um, I think it was perfect for that project. Um, so I was so happy with everybody who actually joined in the Pillar Stand Club this month. Thank you. 
we had a bunch of people and um, I feel like I had done those so long ago because I was going away. Um, and honestly, when I went to get the folder today, I like I had to stop and think, I totally forgot what the project was. So if you're in my Pillar Stand Club, over on that page, we will be voting on September's transfer. And it'll kind of be a quick turnaround. Um, so some people want to do Christmas right away. Um, and we'll see. I'm not sure. You know, it's up to you guys. But we still have, we will have October and November to do Christmas. So you may want to throw another fall or even Halloween transfer in. Um, so think ahead before you vote on the transfers. Um, and don't forget, next month, there's going to be a few new holiday transfers coming out. So you may not want to do Christmas just yet. Okay, we'll have two months to do Christmas. So um, there's that. If you're not in my Pillar Stand Club and you want to be in the Pillar Stand Club, all you need is a Pillar Stand. It is an optional program, guys. It's totally up to you whether or not you want to be in it. You can. And the great thing about it is you know ahead of time what the transfer is going to be. And all you need to do is purchase that A size transfer and I will send you the embellishments. Um, it could be a month that you want to sit back and say, I don't want to do it. Um, and I have people that do it every month. So totally up to you. It's an optional program. If you, hi, Amy, if you want information on the Pillar Stand Club, just put Pillar Stand in the comments and I will send it to you. Okay. So it is Monday. So we do have a little bit of housekeeping, like maybe two or three weeks worth, but I won't do that to you. Um, Club Couture. Guys, that's another one of my favorites, okay? Super easy. It's a subscription in an envelope, not a box. And it is $20, $19.99 a month. And the subscription itself is free shipping, okay? It is a B-size transfer. And um, not only does Chalk Couture give you a how-to video and a PDF link, um, I will also show you a designer too. So you'll get a lot of different ideas on how to use that one transfer that of course you can use up to 15 times. And um, I'm not sure if they've done one this month yet, but um, they usually pick on some designers to go ahead and add theirs to a video. So sometimes you can see maybe 20 or 30 different designers takes on the monthly transfer too. So that is always cool. So if you have been on the fence about Club Couture, um, just put Club Couture and I will send you information on that too. Remember, it is free shipping for the subscription, but one of the best perks about being in Club Couture is that your shipping for anything else is $4.95. So it doesn't matter if your order is $200 or $400, $20, whatever it is, your shipping rate is only $4.95. And there are always perks. Like this month, um, for every $100 order you submit, there are five frames. They might be down to four now. But there's five frames you can choose from that are 50% off. So if you haven't done that yet, and you're thinking about purchasing some transfers or paste or anything like that, get that order up to $100, and you will get a little... Um, flip it that will tell you that you have a 50% uh, off frame that you can choose from. So Club Couture members are always getting kind of steals and deals that way too, which is awesome. Now, my ultimate favorite is a designer. Guys, if you have, you know, consultant, whatever you want to call it, if you've ever really been thinking about becoming a designer for Chalk Couture, I would love for you to be part of my network. Um, you know, $99, you will get $250 worth of product, unbelievable product. And there's just so many great benefits to being a designer, 40% um, off products all the time, uh, incentives, there's trips, there's 
free product credit. It is crazy being a designer and you know how much I love it, right? It's like, it's truly therapy for me, but I also love being in front of you. Now, a couple of questions that I always get asked. Do you have to do lives? No, 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 no. You run the business your way. You can um, be a designer just for the discounts. You can be a designer to make pretty things and turn around and sell them. You can be a designer like I am where I make pretty things, I sell them, and I also have a team. Totally, totally up to you. It's your business and you run it your way, okay? All right, I think that's my housekeeping. Do you guys have any questions for me? I'll keep looking. If I miss any comments, I promise you, I will get back to you. Um, so this will be like the first full week we'll be doing my special lives in my VIP group, which is this group. You know I keep this group small, purposely. Um, anything that I do post over on my main business page, please feel free to share that and you will go on the wheel. As a matter of fact, some of you have gotten happy mail even when I was on vacation. I was spying on you. Um, so if you answered any questions I may have asked or you did share some of my videos or photos, um, I had a little notepad and I was writing it down and some of you will be getting happy mail from me just because you are so special. Okay. All right. If nobody has any questions, we're only going to do one project tonight. It might, it's not going to take a long time, but I'm going to go a little bit slower because I put a bundle together for you. I really want you to take note of this bundle too, because we are going to be using one of the gnomes from this three piece gnome set. Okay. Um, we're going to be using the one that I think looks more Halloween than Christmas. Just my take on it. Every designer has a different look for it, right? Um, but the beauty, I am not, so, okay, let me preface this. I'm not a gnome person, guys. I've never been a gnome person. I don't understand the gnome. Um, but I really like these. And I think it's because I can put it on a surface. And I truly believe that's the difference. Um, I do have some stand-up gnomes that I use for props, like in photos. And Miss Ellie, I don't know if you remember, but Miss Ellie ate my Thanksgiving gnomes last year. She thought they were toys. So I don't have, hey Angie, so I don't have my Thanksgiving ones anymore. But we're going to be doing a Thanksgiving gnome later on. Um, so I've never really been a gnome person, but I think because I can put them on a surface, I like them so much better. Um, so many takes on these gnomes, um, from adding pom-poms to adding, um, earrings to, um, like taking the hat off and having it flow different directions. You can do so many different things with this transfer and you can just paste it in one color. So I have broken it down. I have come up with a bundle and guys, it is $9 plus, believe me, $9 plus off retail. So I think it's a really good one for you to have and let me tell you why. You'll be able to reuse the, the gnome, right? You can dress it up any way you want. The box frame is included. We are gonna be using the white side but remember this is double-sided so you can actually use the back side too and we may actually do some torch pasting on um, the back side so I have given you the link before to my favorite torch paste there are everybody and their brother is out there doing torch paste right now um, if you become a designer that was the other thing if so my I had something else too. if you become a designer I am giving away one of these to everyone who becomes a designer which is they are awesome to use with the torch paste um, but if you are in the market for torch paste 
and I don't get a penny for this guys. I have tried, I, I'm almost positive I tried four different ones. I thought three, but I think I have tried four. Um, and I have found my favorite and I have posted that link before. And I know, I know a lot of you have actually bought the torch paste. Uh, and you may have a favorite too, which is fine. But if you're in the market for torch paste um, and you want a good one, uh, just comment torch paste and I'll get you that link too. We're not using torch paste tonight, but we will be. I think these backsides are great for torch paste. Um, you know me, I usually don't do double-sided designs for myself. Most of you do, which is awesome. I mean, Kathy, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Um, so, um, I don't personally do double sides because remember I do sell most of my stuff. Um, but a lot of you are using the double side. And again, if you do want to use torch paste on this, it is awesome. We will be doing torch paste. I, while I was away, I put a bunch of bundles together in my head and we will be doing some torch paste on the nine by nines. Okay. All right, so let's get going. We are going, like I said, out of the three, we are going to use this middle guy because I really think he looks more Halloween. Um, in the kit, you're gonna get some yarn. I did have purple and I can't find it. Um, guys, I really am organized. I truly believe I have purple somewhere. Now I may not, but I think I did, but it doesn't matter because all this matches. Everything that we're doing is gonna match, okay, with the ribbons and everything. So let me put this down here for now. Um, with the yarn, we're gonna be making some pom-poms. Now, um, there are some people who are using pom-poms and they're like putting magnets on them maybe. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hot glue mine because I'm not changing it out. But if you do buy this bundle and all of a sudden wanna turn your Halloween gnome into a Thanksgiving gnome, you can change out the pom-pom with different colors. We're gonna be doing that too. Um, just FYI, I do have three bundles that I'm gonna be selling. So. We're going to be using the middle guy for hollow. Let me take the plastic off. You can see much better. So this is our D size transfer. It's an 18 by 18. And um, I love it that they made it specifically for these um, box frames. Okay. And I will, if you don't want the kit, I'm still gonna go ahead and I'll list everything um, that I use tonight by numbers. So you'll have that too, okay? Hey Deb, how are you? All right, so this one I'm gonna use for Halloween, okay? This is just me. Um, because when I see it, that's what I see. And then I'm going to use this one for the fall. And then I'm using this one for Christmas, okay? So that's gonna be my take on them. But now we're doing this. This one you can easily turn into Christmas. I can see you doing something fall with it. It all depends on the colors, right? For the most part, everyone I have seen doing this is doing one color. I'm gonna try and do two colors tonight. And if it doesn't work out, it's not that big of a deal. We are gonna do some bubblegum beads, which, my gosh, I haven't taken those out in forever. So in the kit, and I've um, posted it, I haven't posted a picture of the real project yet because I haven't done it, but I did go ahead and I pinned the link for the bundle. Remember, it's qual qual quantities are limited, okay? So if you're thinking about it, go ahead and purchase it sooner than later. Um, but you're going to get one of these guys for the nose. We're actually gonna put a little wooden nose on them, okay? And then you'll get all the bubblegum beads too, okay? And here I did the purples, oranges, greens, purple, orange, and black, all right? So you're gonna get all of this in the kit. It's pretty cool. And like I said, the kit is $9 
plus off retail. All right. Any questions so far? Guys, I have missed you. Two weeks is too long. It really is. All right. Now, normally you could take this off if you want to save the back in one piece so you can put them all together. I wouldn't for this transfer. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in thirds because that's the way I'm going to be using it anyways. Like I have no desire to keep it whole. I think when all is said and done, we're gonna have to name these guys. All right, where is Doreen? Doreen's been painting furniture. Doreen does it all. All right, perfect fit. Look at this, guys. They, I'm telling you. And I think maybe this is why I like the gnome so much. So when I started putting this together, I actually did take out a knob too. I can probably show you if you want to throw one on. Um, I was thinking of adding a knob to the top, but then because the pom-pom is up there, I decided not to. But it, will, it would also look good with like a little knob on top if you wanted to add the knob to it. Okay. I, Lisa, did you get yours? I know you were waiting on them. All right, brand new transfer. Obviously not a chalkboard surface. So should you wax? You could. I'm not going to because I'm just gonna make sure I really fuzz really well, okay? And the paste colors that are gonna be in the bundle are going to be our new Shimmer Plum and our Shimmer Shadow, the black. I decided to do it all a little sparkly for this one. I mean, it's such a, you don't have to do much with this transfer. I mean, first of all, you can do it in any color. So if you did want to use this one for your fall colors, you know, the figs, any of those, the pestos, anything like that, um, the harvest colors, gosh, you could do so much with it. But we will be doing bundles with the other two. So you might want to wait on that, guys. Oh, you got yours, good. So Lisa, it was weird because I haven't been looking for these online because I had mine, but um, the Harvest, Shimmer Harvest was out of stock yesterday and today it was in stock, which was weird. I don't know how that, that usually doesn't happen because we usually do our restocks on Wednesdays or Thursdays so I was surprised that happened. All right, so again, in the bundle, you're gonna have your board, you're gonna have your transfer, you're gonna have the yarn for your pom-pom, you're gonna have all the ribbon, you're going to have your bubblegum beads, your paste, and the little wooden bead for the nose. This is just like such a perfect fit. I think I'll bring it down and over just actually let me bring it up because I, I'm gonna put those beads on the bottom. I can raise this a little bit more. I think like that. 
All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do everything in the plum, and then for like the little jacket, I'm gonna try and do black, and if I have any oopsies, it's gonna be an oopsie because it's not on the chalkboard, but I won't worry too much about it. Because this will be the plum, and this will be the coat. And like I said, if it doesn't work out, I'm not too worried about it. All right, but you definitely, ooh, hear that? Definitely wanna go ahead and get those air bubbles out. And I think I am gonna do the shadow first. So let me see, if I do that like this, Peel it off. Let me see if I can use the tape. This might be worse, but we'll see. We'll just. Okay. This will be black. I'm probably better off just doing it by hand. Yeah, I'll do it by hand. All right, so let's do the shimmer first, and then we'll be able to do all the plum. Okay. Heidi, how are you? You too. Terry, thank you so much. You too. I'm so glad that you're able to do that again. I was sad you hadn't been able to do that. All right. Let's go ahead and do the black. And, like I said, in the bundles, you are going to have... Um, this black and the plum, okay? But you can do it all one color if you want. This is just me trying to be fancy. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. And we'll do the rest of the plum, and then I'll kind of just merge that at the end. Now, we don't have singles of this plum. Um, so I'm happy to be able to give you some in the kit. Because I know a lot of people have been wanting to try it. Uh, shimmers are just a little bit more money than um, our regular paste, 
but they really do, I mean, it's well worth it. They, la they really do last a long time. All right, so I'm gonna come back and get that closer with the multi-tool. And you can even throw, Kelsey, you can even throw more glitter on this if you want. If you're feeling that, especially the Halloween one maybe, if you're feeling it should be a little more sparkly. Oh, see, this was actually easier than I thought it would be, guys. And just scrape up all the excess. Oh, I did it. I'm glad I used the second color. It's, you know, actually you could use like an orange or one of those and it would stand out even more, but definitely got the effect I wanted to. I'll show it to you. Can you see it? Heidi, I had an awesome time. Oh, Kathy, good. And this link, this video will be up for you always. If you, I don't think you need to refer back to it, but this video will be always available. I can actually even send you the link if you don't want to come back to the page. Um, but I think these are fun. And you know, you can order some extra boards if you want to make them as gifts. You can do them school colors. You can do them football colors. I mean, they're fun. They really are fun. All right, so I'm gonna let him dry. And guys, we are going to, let's go ahead and make the pom-pom first. I'll show you how to do that. Super, super easy. Um, I have all the tools to make the pom-poms and I still use my hands. You know when you just spend money silly and you're like, why did I do that? And I ser I mean, it is right there. I could go get my little pom-pom maker, but I still use my hands. <laughs> I know, I'm glad. And you know what? Actually, orange would be cute too. All right. I will need to make sure that's dry though before we put the bubble gum beads on. But let's go ahead and do... All right, so this is what your pom-pom is gonna look like, okay? Let me show you how to do it. So, you will get all, you're gonna get, uh, let me tell you something else. I um, prefer to do my pom-poms when I'm using different colors. I like cutting the strips. Um, I know a lot of people or some people will do one color at a time and layer it, but when you do that, it doesn't mer like it doesn't, like you get three layers. You can tell they're layers. So I like doing it this way. So your yarn will be ready for you to go, okay? So you'll get six pieces. They're pretty long, okay? So you'll get two greens, two oranges, and two blacks, okay? And then seriously, this is all you're gonna do. The one other thing, and I always say my grandmother would be so upset with me because I, of all the waste, especially my ribbons. Well, when you make pom-poms, 
you already know there's gonna be a lot of waste, okay? That's, that's just the pom-pom life, okay? So let's go ahead, let me, I know they're all the same size, so let me bring these up. And then you just, you're just gonna wrap it around, not too tight, but not loose. You wanna be able to get it off your hand, okay? So seriously, this is all you're going to do, guys. That's it. That's all you're gonna do, okay? And then you will have a pre-cut um, a pre-cut one. I'm, I'm not sure which color you would get, but it'd be one of these colors, okay? And then you're literally just going to put this in the middle, okay? And you are going to tie it super, super tight. It, guys. Tight, tight, all right? Double knot it, triple knot it, whatever you need to do. Okay? And you want a good pair of scissors. You guys may be better pom-pom makers than me. Now, if I took out my little pom-pom maker, um, I would win. But, and then seriously, all you're gonna do is cut this right in half. The loop, you're gonna cut the loop right in half, okay? Both sides. And you're gonna hope you catch all the loops. You probably won't, and that's okay too. We'll fix that at the end, okay? So now that doesn't look like this, right? But let me tell you how it's going to get to look like that. All right, so everybody's following me, right? All right, so we're just gonna give it a haircut. Now, this is a small board, so you don't want it to be super big, especially because I'm gonna put it at the end. So I purposely gonna cut these small, okay? So. I'm just kinda of gonna gauge it and see how much shorter you wanna go. Flip it over and do the same exact thing. All right, and then, like I said, that's why I like doing it the way I do it because then it looks like you can't tell it's not on layers, right? And you can go back and just kind of trim it however you want it to be. Don't stress out about it. There's no right or wrong. Kind of look at it and make sure that's how you want it. And you could do this all day long. At some point, you gotta stop. All right, super cute, right? And um, like I said, these will be the colors that's in the um, kit, but feel free, I'm sure you have yarn at home, to use any color that you want, all right? So that's the pom-pom. Any questions on the pom? Let me know if you have any questions about that. And then let's go ahead and do the bubble gum beads. And they'll be the purples, greens, orange, and black, okay? And there's two, four, six, eight, there's nine of them. 
All right, so you'll all get nine of them. And then you can either put them in with um, yarn or I might actually use jute. Let me see if I might. I think I'm gonna use jute actually. I was gonna use the yarn. Let me go ahead and use jute because I'm gonna put some ribbon on it. So you'll get all this too, okay? Now I use a needle. You don't have to, a lot of people tape the ends of it, but I just, it's easier for me to use a needle. All right, so we'll start with a black. Oh, maybe the, oh, maybe that's why I use the yarn. Yeah, some of these bubble, some of these holes, we'd have to do it. All right, let's go back to the yarn. I think that's why I cut the yarn to begin with. So, um, like on the wooden beads, you can, you know, make the holes bigger. On these bubble gum beads, it's hard to drill through them. So you can just use, um, you know, if you ever play with bubblegum beads, and I do play with a lot of bubblegum beads, um, fish line is good. It's almost like if you were making jewelry, you can buy that elastic, you can buy fish line. Um, usually like 20 mil mm's will go through. All right, I just lost my paper, where is it? Just trying to open this a little bit more without putting on glasses. will work, Patty. That's all, just use the tweezers. good eyesight to do this. <laughs> All right, so let's push this through. All right, uh, hold on. these any way you want. Let's do this one. So you will get all these colors. Your stripes and your polka dots might be a little bit different, but they'll all be like this. I don't want that one. 
Let's change this out. And keep it going the same color at least. Do an orange. And then purple, green, and then we'll end it with black. Yeah, I used to do like fish in line all the time. And then when I was making jewelry, I used to make infant jewelry. Um, I started buying that like elastic band type stuff. Okay. Alright, so let me I like seriously have like two needles left and I'm I mean I could go out and buy some and I never do. I never think of it. Alright, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and make some ribbon. So I was thinking of just doing it on the ends. So you'll get all this ribbon too, okay? And you can do it any way you want to do it. Do that. And I'm gonna end up cutting this because I just took out scraps and I didn't know how long it would be. Let me kind of do it at the same time so they're the same on each end. And we're just crisscrossing, okay? That's all you gotta do. Crisscross, and then we're gonna do black. Then we'll do I don't kind of want to put that one on top. We'll do the purple, and then we'll put this one on top. And then just tie a knot. We'll keep the excess on it until we tie it down, okay? But we'll probably end up cutting this. Okay, that's one. Like I said, I'm always doing a little much and then we'll cut it but it's gonna fold over so I didn't know how much it was gonna fold over so it's gonna be down that end but what I was thinking was having it on each end so let's go ahead I'm gonna tie a knot in this And you won't see this. Try to get it as tight as you can. 
or as close. Now you can go ahead and, so you'll get all this ribbon. If you wanted to do like three and put one in the middle, like you can play with the ribbon as much as you want. They'll, there's plenty. There will be plenty of ribbon for you. We're gonna put these on the ends and we'll end up cutting them too. guy started. Do this end. Now our Christmas one and our Thanksgiving one, they none of them are going to look the same. They'll all be different. But this one would just be more whimsy. I'm actually thinking of doing the um, the Christmas one two different, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I'm thinking of doing it traditional Christmas colors. But then I'm also thinking about doing um, blues so you can actually change it out if you want to keep it during the winter, okay? So there'll be an option for you. Cutting some of this, but I don't know how much yet. I'm just kind of being whimsy. All right. Let's make sure this is completely dry. You can color your nose if you want. I love the shimmer. The shimmer paste is really coming out on this. So I am glad that I did that in black. All right. So we're gonna put him here. Now you can, so you know, it's like the beard. So this is like the nose that pops through. You can, you know, make it rosier. You can, you know, definitely add some color to it if you want. But I'm not. Um, kind of liked it the way it was. It's the perfect, I had, I do have different sizes and this one is the perfect one because like the rest of the mustache kind of like goes around it. And you could like even hot glue buttons on if you want. All right, there's that. Let's do the beads first. Do probably going this way. So I guess let's think about it. If I was hanging it on a wall, this could come down, but if I'm going to use it standing up, I don't want, I would want it this way so they kind of fan out a little bit.
Oh, you know, you can always use the plate stand. I should get one to show you. I'll get a plate stand. Right, so I think I'm gonna do it this way. Just so it's out of the way. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's put this guy down. So this isn't a chalkboard. So if you do hot glue, it's going to be harder to come up. But if you ever decided to change this out, you could always sand this board down and then it wouldn't matter. But again, I don't reuse them, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, as a hand yes they would be Heidi if you buy the kit you can use your beads as a handle good idea okay let's give this a little haircut that is a good idea Heidi Kind of just move these around how you want them to like I really want that lime green to be facing front so you can just twist it all right and then we're gonna get ready for the pump pom yeah and actually it's the perfect size for a handle Heidi all right so now this definitely is bigger than what's on here, right? But I don't care, All right? So I'm gonna put it right. Like that. And again, you could put magnets on here if you wanted to, if you thought you were going to be changing it out. This project was way too easy. It's too easy. I'm going to get a, um, a stand so you can see it on the stand. All right, who wants to see it? This one's a little bit longer. All right, let me get a stand. Strong enough. I think this one is either. I have to get the bigger guns out. Oh, oh it does. All right. Do you want to see it? Who wants to see it? Hey, Teresa. Who wants to see it? 
I match my crop toy with the other one. All right, when I was taking out, I wasn't gonna say anything, but when I was taking out the orange bubblegum beads, that's what I, I was like, oh no. <laughs> How observant of you. All right, I don't know if you got, can you guys see it? So I think this is why I'm, I'm liking the gnomes because I like it on the surface. What do you think? Do you like it? Super, super easy, right? All right, so again, I the qu quantities are limited, okay? So everything you see here is in the kit and it's $9 off retail. Actually, it's more, but it's $9 off retail. Um, you get the bubblegum beads, you get all the ribbon, you get the jute, you get the yarn, you get the board, you get the transfer. And don't forget, this transfer you can use many, many, many times, many times. Um, and if you wanted to make extras, you could just buy another um, board. And you don't even have to bring this hat up that high if you wanted to buy a little a board too. It's, I mean, you can make like the little gnome guy. Like you can make like a half a guy if you wanted to. But I think this is why I like them. Yes, you're right, Teresa. And neither am I. That's what I started right from the beginning. Heidi, I don't, I mean, I'm not, I never have been a gnome person. Like I go for walks and I see them all over the place. I see them at cemetery. Like I don't understand the whole gnome phenomenon, which is fine. Um, and I do have some for, for um, props for when I take pictures. Um, some are in better shape than others because Miss Ellie has gotten a hold of them and thought they were toys. Um, but I like it on the board. I really do like it on the board. I think maybe because it's more decor to me. But guys, if you decorate your front porch for Halloween, this would be really cute sitting out there. Like with a light on it, it would be really, really cute. Some like little witchy music. All right. So this is the Halloween one. This is the bundle that's for sale right now. Um, later on, we will be doing a fall one and we will be doing a Christmas one or Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, around those times. Um, so if you do buy the bundle, I want to see your finished project. I really do. And like Heidi said, you can make this, you can actually use that as a handle. I was going to put the knob on it and decided not to. Uh, let me show you now that it's done. And I had enough of these to put in the kits and decided not to. So I was going to put this knob on it. But then I decided not to. But you can. You can put a handle on it. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. And I am so happy to be back. I really, really am. I still have unpacking to do boxes. I, I actually put a big dent in it, but then I believe it or not got more boxes today. So, yeah, I, you know, I liked the knob, but then I decided not to. I know you love fancy knobs. I've seen your knob work, Doreen, that bureau that you just did. I noticed it. All right, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Pillar Stand Club, we did it today. So if you got your embellishments from me, go ahead. The video is in the Pillar Stand page today. Uh, we'll be voting on next month's, okay? Um, but remember, take into consideration, we'll probably, you'd probably want to do like a Halloween or a thing, or. Uh, fall one because we still have two more months to do holiday ones. Okay, just FYI um, Pillow stand club 
Club Couture, and of course, if you want to be a designer, I'm giving away tools. I'm giving away tools. All right. Okay, guys. I um, thank you for sharing the love when you can share the love. I'm going to post this over on, not the video, but I am going to post the finished piece on my business page. So if you ever see it come up, feel free to share that with your friends. Um, and that's how we'll do things for a little bit anyways, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday night. Um, and um, you'll see me again this week. I promise. Bye, everyone.